The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can this be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand this? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when our Lord Jesus Christ met the man called Nicodemus, he said so many things to him but this is the summary of what he said. He said to Nicodemus, you have been operating at a certain dimension for too long. Nicodemus, you have been trapped in a certain realm for too long. Now I want you to stand up and push out of that realm. I want you to stand up and leave this particular realm and begin to operate on another dimension of grace. You have been here for too long. That's why Jesus Christ used the analogy of a womb, of being born again. In the first trimester, the baby is perfectly at home in the, in the womb. It is nourished in the womb, it is housed in the womb, it is fed in the womb. In the second trimester, the womb is still okay for the baby. But in the third trimester, the baby must leave that dimension. The baby must lift, leave that womb. The baby must be born. Because what was a blessing has become a cause, as it were. It can no longer remain within the confines of the womb because the plans that God has for that baby is bigger than that little compartment in which it has found itself all along. So that's what Jesus was saying to Nicodemus. Nicodemus, currently you are in a womb that you have overgrown. You need to get up and push out. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, before he could move from one dimension to another, he too had to be born again. And in his own case, it was the tomb that was his womb. He was in the tomb for about three days, and he too had to come out. See, my brothers and sisters in Christ, what the word of the Lord is saying to us today when he says be born again, it is that you too were once in a womb in your mother's womb. Right now, as you live in this world, you are also in a womb. You are living your physical existence. God is asking you to break out of that existence and move to a higher dimension. Our Lord Jesus Christ, when he came out of the tomb, when he resurrected on Easter Sunday, he began to live a new kind of existence. It was not like how it was when he was walking along the streets and in the synagogues and teaching and preaching. It was a different level. This time around, he could enter into a place without opening the doors. We were told in the scriptures that the doors were locked. Jesus would enter. That is a different level of existence. And that is what Christ is calling to us today. 
When I remember the story of Nicodemus, I cannot but help think about the prodigal son also. He too was in such a situation when the word of the Lord came to him to say, move out of this place. You have been here for too long. You have been stagnant for too long. Take a step forward. To be born again is to be, is, is to take that step forward, to come out of the womb and live a new kind of life, a new kind of existence. This time around, to live the spiritual life. You are not only born to eat and to drink and to sleep and to wake up and to, and to go to work and come back again and go on in that vicious circle. There is another kind of existence, which is a spiritual existence, that is life in God. What Jesus was saying to Nicodemus was that, yes, you live a physical existence, you know all these things, now move to another dimension. Begin to live the life of God. You must be able to forgive. That is what God does, because to err is human and to forgive is what is divine. You must be able to love your neighbor truly from your heart because that is what God does. That is, that is operating on another, another realm. That is the realm of the spirit. God loves even those that don't deserve his love. God allows his son and his reign to fall on bad and good men alike. So to truly love one's neighbor is to operate in the realm of the spirit. We celebrated Divine Mercy Sunday to clothe the naked, to feed the poor, to instruct the ignorant, all the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works of mercy, that is to operate in the realm of the Spirit. And so let us pray through the grace of this Mass that we would abandon our animal existence, we will abandon our physical existence, and move today, as Christ is encouraging us to do, from the realm of the physical to that of the spiritual. May he bless his word in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.